Pete, is this the worst loss you've experienced uh, in your time playing basketball? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I don't really think of it like that. Um, you know, it's just disappointing. Um, you know, I hope we can bounce back and we, we got to be better. And you had the best offensive output and rebounding output of your career at Northwestern. How do you balance that with, you know, the result? Um, you know, I, I could have had 80 points and if we lost, if we lost, we lost. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter. I didn't do enough um, to help my team win and I just, you know, I, I got to be better. You talk about bouncing back. How are you guys going to do that? Um, you know, I think it just starts with our preparation. Um, I think we're just going to, you know, we just got to, you know, look, look at ourselves and, and figure out what we're doing wrong and why we're not preparing correctly. And then luckily it's the first game, so we have a lot of time to, to figure that out. You say not preparing correctly. What do you think was wrong with the preparation? Um, I'm not sure. Um, it could have been a number of things. Um, I know we're all going to be sharp and we're going to be ready to go and, and prepare for Providence. What do you think of the defensive effort tonight? Have you seen the speed kind of bother you, the guards, Scott's been um, You know, they, got, they have really good players, um, props to those guys. But uh, yeah, they got in our paint, and uh, they were just kind of doing whatever they want. And we just got to play better defense on those guys. Coach, Coach Collins talked a lot about a lack of energy. Uh, is, is that something you notice as well, both on the bench and on the court? And, and how do you fix that? Um, you know, I, I definitely I felt it a little bit. Um, I think we just got to, like I said, just just prepare a little bit better, and uh, we'll we'll be better for next game for sure. You think this? Go ahead. All right. You think this will serve a little bit of a wake up call for you guys? Um, I mean, yeah, we we obviously, uh, you know, we we don't want to lose again, and um, it's just you know, it's it our first game, and we'll, we're going to be better for sure next game. Uh, Coach Collins stressed a lot that you guys were trying to attack like the middle of their zone, and you got a lot of touches in the high post. Is that something? a place where you're comfortable operating on the floor you feel like you can score there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like I mean, I mean, like getting the ball at the high post. Uh, you know, there's just a lot. You can do almost everything in basketball. You can do, you can pass, shoot, dribble. Um, that's a, that's a, I like that spot on the court for sure. And you've talked about moving forward a lot from this one, bouncing back. When you're moving forward from a loss with you like that, do you treat it like just another loss, or do you say, we played really poorly here, we really have to take a look at ourselves? Um, honestly, um, I don't know, like we're just going to, I know we're just going to take a look at ourselves and, you know, watch the tape and figure out what we did wrong and, you know, try to, you know, we'll get a new mindset and try to wash that off our slate um, and prepare for next game. Do you went through your mind sort of when the buzzer rang and the final result was official? Um, you know, we lost. Um, I know we got a, we could have played better. There was a couple things we could have did better throughout the game that would have changed the game drastically and, um, you know, we just got to look at the film and be better. How do you bounce back from an upset loss of that magnitude? Um, I mean, we just got to look in, look within and uh, come back to practice and lock in and, and fix what we what we did wrong and, and uh, you know, be super, super focused on us. What do you guys think you did wrong the most? Uh, I think we just need more energy. Um, you know, coming in our first game, we should, I think we should have more energy, and uh, we got to focus in, lock in more on defense, and uh, um, just just play hard. What was the mood like in the locker room after the game? Um, I mean, I, I think after any loss, there's no uh, uh, there's no joy, but um, you know, you got to give credit to them. They're, they play well, they play really hard, and um, you know, they beat us, and they, they uh, uh, you know, we weren't happy about that, but you know. They, you got to give credit to them. Now, how do you get more in a situation like this? What are, what are the concrete things you guys can do to, to get yourselves more pumped? Um, we just got to. It's just we just have to look within, really, um, and play with more fire, more passion, um, and that just comes with everybody just um, looking at themselves and, and take getting energy from each other too. And then, for you personally, you had the eight points in the first couple of minutes, and only scored I think four or five the rest of the way. Did you think you needed to do more on offense looking back on it? Uh, I mean, I'm always looking to be aggressive. Um, and early in the game, I got fouled and, and, and knocked down some shots and some free throws. Um, but I'm always looking to be aggressive. And, and sometimes, uh, you know, I'll get the open looks and sometimes other guys will. So um, that's always, it depends on the game, flow of the game. Uh, Miller, you said, you had, like you just mentioned that you were up. Uh, you always try to be aggressive. You said you wanted to be aggressive for the season yesterday, and you also said that 
you wanted the whole team to be aggressive. Did you think you guys as a team were aggressive enough tonight? I think in the second half, when and we had some spurts, um, and early in the game we had some spurts, but I think it, it wasn't uh, as much as we needed and as much as we want um, overall. Anything surprise you about Merrimack? Anything they did? Um, I mean, they, they just play really hard. And that doesn't surprise me, but uh, you got to give credit to them. They play really hard, and they came in with the uh, with the mentality to win, and uh, and you know they did some things really well. And you got to give uh, credit to them. Number fourteen for them had a big game, very uh, active on from the yard. What is how did you guys sort of go about defending him as the game went on? Um, well, we we kind of put some different guys on him, but. Uh, you know, he made some shots. He made some tough ones too, and some deep ones. And so, when when a guy's doing that, you gotta respect him, and, and uh, that kind of opened up some some driving lanes for some other guys too. Uh, but we just tried to fo lo uh, focus on him and just lock in. You're on your phone over there. Uh, have you gotten any messages from people talking about the game so far, or have you not checked? No, no, I haven't really checked.